Prime numbers are those numbers which can only be divided by one or themselves. No other natural number is able to divide a prime number. But interestingly, all natural numbers can be divided by prime numbers. In fact, every natural number can be expressed as a product of prime numbers. That means that the prime numbers are the building blocks of the natural numbers. We know that there are infinitely many numbers. So it is natural to assume that there's also infinitely many prime numbers. But how can we be sure? We start by assuming that we only have a finite amount of prime numbers. This means we can collect all prime numbers in this set from P1, P2 up to Pn. And we can be sure that the amount of numbers in this set will definitely be smaller than infinity. Out of those numbers we can now construct a new number. First we multiply all the primes with each other and then we are adding one to the result. And this new number we shall call it Q. Since Q is a natural number it must have a prime factorization. And this means out of the finite set of prime numbers we can pick out at least one prime number Pi which will be a divisor of the number Q. But Pi not only divides Q, but also the product of P1 times P2 up to Pn, since Pi is a part of that product. From this we can then conclude that the prime number Pi has to be a divisor of the difference between Q and the product of primes. But when we plug in our definition of Q, we will find that this difference is equal to 1. And this means that the prime number pi is a divisor of 1. And this cannot be true since all prime numbers are greater than 1. So we ended up with a contradiction. The assumption of having a finite amount of prime numbers made a sequence of logical conclusions possible which led to a contradiction. Therefore, we can conclude there need to be infinitely many prime numbers. <laughs>